Hello everyone, now I'm ready to introduce how to correct the use and maintain battery. When you take out the battery from the packaging, please do not make direct use. It suggested that the battery is fully charged before using. Under normal circumstances, battery ch charging time is about 5 to 6 hours. Meanwhile, try to avoid overcharging. During flight, the battery can be, cannot be used out. Well, it is still has one bar, battery bar left. The drone can fly about five minutes. Please do not let the drone fly too far or too high in case no enough power left for landing. When no bar left, please stop flying and disconnect the battery and take it out from the compartment. Due to high power of the drone, it is normal that getting hot and that time, put it in a ventilated place for cooling. One hour later, they can be recharged. Under any circumstances, do not expose battery to sunlight. Overcharging or over-discharging both will cause short lifespan or swell up. If your battery already swell up, we recommend that you replace the battery. In addition, if you are not using it for a long time, Please take out and make, it, make sure it retains about two battery bars, then there will be no problem in the long term storage, about two to three months under normal circumstances. Do not keep it more than two days where the battery is fully charged or discharged, as it will cause battery to wear up. That is all about battery. Bye! Attention! During the flight, we need to consider flight time. Fly after battery is fully charged and remember the taking off time to understand about when we show the land. We recommend that you set an alarm to control the flight time to avoid the crash when the battery using all the power. During the flight, if the battery voltage is too low, the drone starts to low voltage alert and the red light flashes. Within one minute, the operator is required to land in a timely manner. If the distance is higher or farther, it is recommended to use the manual mode as the drone flies in higher speed so you can quickly land and prevent a crash. During the landing, please choose an open and no water place and meanwhile also adjust the direction of the drone to ensure a safety landing. Regarding the flight time, no wind condition, drone without any loading can fly 32 minutes. However, we recommend that you end the flight when it flies about 25 minutes and replace the battery for further flight. Flying in wind less than 4 degrees, flight time is suggested at about 23 minutes and replace battery for further flight. When there is only one battery bar left, John can only fly about 5 minutes. When it flies with the gimbal camera and uh, video transmitter in no wind condition, it is suggested to fly within 20 minutes. And if the wind less than 4 degrees, fly about 18 minutes to be safe. Please choose a suitable fly site like few people no high building and magnetic interference to ensure safety. During the flight, you may encounter the following problems. Let us analyze together these known issues. First, encounter the rain during the flight. Our drone is not waterproofed. If rainfall not heavy, there will be no much impact because the motors will not affect and the rain will not flow inside the drone case while high speed rotation of the propeller. However, there might be some rain water flowing in through the battery cover if flight in the rain too long time. Therefore, we do not recommend that you fly in the rain. Well, unlocking the drone, you find the motor speed not synchronized, but when push up the throttle, the motor start in same speed. This is a normal phenomenon and will not affect the use of your drone. 
Of course, you can also do a thought calibration to solve this problem. Before doing it, disassemble the propellers first in case of any security risk. This process involves two persons to complete. First of all, person A push the throttle up and hold at the top, while person B plug in the battery power. It will give beep sound after 3 seconds. Disconnect the battery and plug in again after 2 seconds. It will give a beep sound. Then, person A push the throttle down at the lowest position. John will give a beep sound. Now disconnect the John power again and switch off the RC power. Now we do it again with a particular emphasis. When it gives consecutive beep beep sounds, if the drone with impeller, it is in unlocking state. And if push throttle upwards, the propeller rotates and it has a potential risk. When the drone flies above the forests, places, basins, or intensive buildings, or other places with magnetic interference, please use in manual mode, and this is the most safe mode to avoid any flying away. The reason for this proposal is because the GPS signal in these areas may not be very stable and followed by the failure of the magnetic field may appear, appear or the signal breaking off. So we do not recommend that you use GPS mode to operate in those areas. Although manual mode has certain requirements for the operators, it is the safe, safest mode. In manual mode, it does not rely on GPS signal. Therefore, reduce the possibility of lost or crash. If you fly in GPS mode, including RTL and the lowest mode, when there's an abnormal thing happened, like uh, uncontrolled flying, please switch to many mode quickly. Flying away or crash cannot be avoided, and this there is possibility of the same situation for the real airplanes which take people let alone our drone. We will do a lot of videos to inform the users as much info as possible to avoid those incidents occurrence. So much for sharing the possible problems which may occur. For you and for us, the dream for area drone just begin to sail. Let us work together to explore, discover, and change. We welcome you for valuable comments or suggestions and we will work hard to improve the products. Product features, functions, and new trends will be regularly updated by video. Thank you for your attention. See you